Hi kids! Today we will learn about grids and cardinal directions. So let's get started. Here is a grid. The horizontal partitions in the grid are called its rows and vertical partitions in grids are called columns. We can give names to rows and columns, like here. Alphabets A to G are assigned to columns, and numbers 1 to 8 are assigned to rows. Each individual partition in the grid is a cell, and we assign unique names to each cell by joining its row name and column name. Example name of this particular cell is B4 as its column name is B and row name is 4. And this cell is D5 as its column name is D and row name is 5. So it's D5. Similarly, this cell is G3 as its column name is G and row name is 3, so it's G3. Now let's learn about cardinal directions. If we move upwards, we say we are moving in north direction. If we move downwards, we say we are moving in south direction. If we move toward right, we say we are moving in east direction. If we move toward left, we say we are moving in west direction. Here, Joy is standing at a position. Can you name its position? Joy is standing at row 1 and column A, so he is standing at A1. Now, Joy has to reach the help bottle, which is at position E4. That is in column E and row 4. Now, let's see how Joy can reach position E4. First, Joy will move four steps towards east or right, and then move three steps towards south. And Joy will reach the help bottle. Now, help bottle gave Joy a hint. That is a hint to the key of treasure which is F2. Now, let's reach F2. If Joy move one step right or east and then two step north, we reach F2. Yeah, we got the key here. Now, next hint on the key is C5. Let's reach C5. For this, we have to move three steps west or left and then three steps south. Yeah, we got the treasure here. So kids, now we know how we can move in a grid to any desired location. So we learned naming in a grid and cardinal directions. Now let's learn more on grids. We will learn calculating area and perimeter in grids. Here we have a map of university. Yellow area shows the science department. Brown area shows the history department. Blue area shows the math department. Black area is the entrance gate of university. Red area shows canteen areas. Pink area shows the English department. Gray area shows the roads. Green area shows the garden area. Now let's answer a few questions. Which part of the university has the greatest area? Garden area is covering the greatest area. Which part of university has the least area shown in map? Entrance gate is covering the least area of map. If each cell is 4 meters square, 
What is the area of English department? Let's find it out. English department is the area in pink. Pink area spans four rows of four squares each. So, four multiplied by four equals 16 squares. And one square equals four meters square. So, 16 square equals four multiplied by 16 equals 64. So, area of English department equals 64 meters square. Now, what is the total area covered by all the canteens, given that each cell is 4 meters square? Let's find it out. There are four canteen areas, and each canteen spans four small squares. So, four canteens will span four multiplied with four, that is, 16 small squares. It is same as English department. So, its area is also 16 multiplied by 4 equals 64 meters square. Now, let's move on to another question. Now, if the side of each small square measures 2 centimeters, then what is the parameter of history department? Let's calculate the parameter of history department. We know parameter is the length of boundary of a closed figure. Length of side of each square is 2 centimeters. Now, count the number of sides of square to make up the boundary of history department. History department spans 5 columns. So, Five sides are facing on top, and five sides are facing on the bottom. That is, ten sides. It has four rows. So, four sides are facing on left, and four sides facing on the right. That is, eight sides. So, in total, 18 sides are facing on the boundary of history department. And one side measures 2 centimeters. So, 18 multiplied by 2 equals 36. So, 36 centimeters is the parameter of history department. Now, let's move on to next question. If a person is standing at the entrance of the university, that is, at A8, what will be the shortest path by road to the maths department? Let's find it out. Person will move 15 squares east and then one square north and will reach the math department. So, kids, now you know what are grids, what are columns in rows, how to name locations in a grid, what are cardinal directions, and also how to find area and parameter in case of simple grids. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.